Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's financial news. Stay with us for more market headlines. The Canadian dollar weakened to a six-month low against its U.S. counterpart as surging long-term borrowing costs spooked investors and despite hawkish comments from a Bank of Canada policymaker. The historic launch of nine new Ethereum futures ETFs has got off to a relatively slow start, with all of the funds witnessing less than $2 million of total volume on the first day of trading. Valkyrie's Bitcoin strategy ETF was the most popular racking up a total of $882,000 worth of volume. European shares were nearly flat, with gains in banks and insurers offsetting losses in rate-sensitive utilities, as bets that US interest rates would remain higher for longer boosted Treasury yields and the dollar. The Bitcoin fell 0.4% against the dollar in the last trading session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. The gold dollar pair saw a minor dip of 0.1% in the last session. According to the stochastic indicator, we are in an oversold market. Tesla's stock dropped 0.8% in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The Aussie dollar pair dropped 0.8% in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an oversold market. The US ADP employment change will be released at 12.15 GMT. The US ISM services PMI at 1400 hours GMT. The Eurozone's retail sales at 0900 hours GMT. The Eurozone's producer price index will be released at 0900 hours GMT. Japan's Jibun Bank Services PMI at 0 hundred hours and 30 minutes GMT. Japan's foreign bond investment at 2350 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Wednesday's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.